，呃，后就是什么翻页，翻页是。Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm Chen Zifeng from uh, CSI, that is uh, China Electronics Standardization of Institute. And in the next 10 minutes, I will share the, uh, something about uh, our Chinese open source standards. Uh, uh, there are three, three parts. Uh, the first part uh, is uh, What's the implication of, of OpenStar in China? And the next part is uh, how, uh, how, the, uh, how, how we work uh, in the in OpenStar standard, standards. And the three part is the application of OpenStar standards. Uh, uh, First of all, I will introduce our uh, research institutes. Uh, our institute uh, research in major in the IT fields include the standard testing and building start uh, ecosystem. And our team's major work is cloud computing and build our open source communities uh, and support the uh, government and industry. Uh, now I come to show the uh, cloud computing markets in China. Uh, from the first uh, fingers, we can sh see that uh, uh, it is estimated that uh, to the uh, 2019, uh, the scale of cloud computing industry will be reached uh, 430 billion yuan by the 2019s. And in China, more and more IT systems and infrastructure are training into cloud, especially in government and financial industries. And so the private cloud in China will continue to maintain rapid growth. In the 1980s, it's estimated that the private cloud, uh, the growth of uh, private cloud will, uh, is the 27 percent, the growth rate of the private cloud. And this, this slide will show the main cloud technology applying in China. Uh, the open source uh, in China uh, is dominated at 7 percent, uh, especially in the uh, China telecoms, uh, China mobiles, and tension sectors. And open source is more popular and mature. Uh, become and become the mainstream in the uh, private cloud markets. And this slide will show the open start issue in China. Uh, there are four main issues uh, for our research. Uh, the first one is the depth of the open start implementation, uh, implementations vary in different industries. The vision vision of open start comparative issues, such as different version on the market, different changes in the same version, and in the large scale private cloud, such as uh, the China telecoms uh, and the mobile telecom, there are adoption problems. So there are also adoption problems in the hybrid cloud, uh, such as uh, the uh, the private uh, private cloud to the uh, to the to the private cloud or the, the uh, <coughs> open, open cloud. Uh, and the next, uh, next part is the, uh, how we work in the open source standard. Uh, our, our, uh, our, our standard is to uh, solve the uh, issue, open source issue in China. Uh, and the methodology is from the IEC ISO uh, 42010 and uh, IEC ISO 17789, and, uh, and the standard is for uh, is for is for the uh, force views, the user views, functional views, implementation views, deployment views. Uh, from the first view to answer the question of what the cloud computing, 
and the proposed cloud computing ecological phenomena, and to lay the foundation for standard elevation, uh, especially in the interoperability, portability, and other issues of common uh, concern. And the first, then the version one of the, our standards uh, is to docking the open source implementation through the function views and describe the application functions through the practice and provide the basics for technology realization. And based on our uh, version one uh, standards, uh, we, we developed a test case for the for the uh, standards. And the application vendors uh, include the China Mobiles and Huawei and uh, H3, uh, H3C. And uh, based on our practice, uh, we developed a standard version tool. The version tools include the made the domestic application measure situation as a reference. Uh, we select the P version, OpenStar version, P version as the basics, and translate API inter interface for the mutual models, such as Nova, uh, Selene, and uh, Neutron, etc., and the relevant interface to form a, a interface text tools. And we choose the public and the private class uh, text for the abduction. Uh, and the next part, we, uh, we have our partners, Huizuan, uh, to introduce the three parts. Yes. Okay, uh, thanks a lot. And uh, for the next part, I just want to present uh, the application of this standard in China and how we use OpenStack as the national standard in the industry. And just before starting with this part, I just want to share a little about my experience. Before working for the OpenStack, the, the open source communities, I work a lot for the standardization. For example, I worked in ISO IEC JTC1 for cloud computing, and I was the editor of the SC38, the standard of ISO for cloud computing. And also, I worked for the MTF to work for the part of uh, cloud computing interface in order to have a standard interface specifications. However, it was not successful, and we started to, to know why we cannot propose a standard for, open, uh, for cloud computing. And finally, the reason is we, we believe that for cloud computing, we cannot only standardize the interface. Also, we should study the data model behind this interface. And for this reason, and since 2012, we started to work on OpenStack and use OpenStack as a standard because OpenStack at the same time, it provides the interface and it provides the data model behind the interface. And uh, now the reason, another reason is that OpenStack is so popular since a lot of industries, providers, vendors use OpenStack and their products are based on OpenStack and uh, it becomes a common platform or a common ecosystem that most of us can use. And this is the reason why finally we choose OpenStack as the national standard for, in, for, for the cloud computing in China. Okay. So, uh, so for firstly, I can just introduce you how uh, uh, the OpenStack API becomes the standard. And uh, we have two parts first. Firstly, uh, since 2000, uh, between 2015 and 2017, uh, we defined it, we call it a reference architecture. So if we like to provide a IIS, infrastructure as a service, how we should design this architecture. We call it a reference architecture. It's not really the implementing details. We will not tell you, okay, you need a neutron, you need a Nova, you need these models. However, we should define which are the main functions that a cloud computing platform should provide. This is the first part, and this work has been done uh, last year. And this is the first version of reference architecture and the first version of national standard in China. And since last year, we, start, we started the second part, means we should define the interface. Why we need this interface? Because in the industry, uh, a lot of companies 
declares that they provide OpenStack. However, OpenStack became a market uh, branch, and sometimes it uh, they how to say that sometimes and we need a real interoperability between this OpenStack, especially for the for the reason of high availability or for the reason of uh, to avoid the vendor lockings. So some big companies or groups they implemented two different OpenStack. And for they, they want to ensure that their application can be easily migrated from one OpenStack to another OpenStack. Another reason is that OpenStack have several releases, and they should ensure that their application can be easily migrated from one release to another release. These are things that in the standard study work we try to avoid uh, to, to improve and resolve. Uh, so uh, what we have done first, we used OpenStack API documentation. We translate it into Chinese, and then we develop by ourselves a tool, a testing tools that can be used to test the conformity of this interface. And this, uh, frankly speaking, this is a tool based on Tempest. And we just do several adaptations of Tempest in our context. And the second thing is very important. Once we have these tools and this documentation, we should understand how we use these documentations, in which scenario or in which use case. So from our side, uh, usually if we de deliver our product to our clients, of course, we will do the customization for the clients. Once we have do the modification or customization, how we can ensure that the interface or the uh, API provided should be the same. So in the scenario that we defined it for testing, uh, to improve, to validate this standard, we uh, should do on-site. Means that the standard are delivered or the certificate are delivered not for the product itself or the distribution itself. The standard are, is delivered for, for the deployment. Each deployment needs a certification to certify that it's an OpenStack conformed platform. We do this in two steps. First step, if a vendor uh, he wants to certify uh, his deployment. First, he, he should certify his distribution or the product itself. Means that we use the tool to test whether the standard product works well and uh, conform to the OpenStack API. Once we validate this first step and we will launch the second step, means that they a third part independent body, especially the standardization body, go to the deployment on site they use their tools to test the API. Once this second step of, is validated, we can ensure that, okay, this is an OpenStack deployment which can ensure the interoperability of all the application. These are two steps. And um, especially, another very important thing, so when we talk about a standard, the support from the, from the vendors. So you can propose your standard and he can propose his standard. However, the most important thing is that the, this standard should be uh, used by all the vendors. And this is the main reason why, finally, it's the national body who provided and do this job. Because once they do this job, and uh, all the vendors should uh, respect this standard. This is why we call it the main Chinese local provider cloud providers now and will support it. And the first um, certification will be distributed to all the vendors, not all the vendors, all the certified vendors next week, uh, next month. Uh, first very important thing is that uh, we do this job in China as the standard tools for all the vendors in China. However, we also want to upstream this work to the OpenStack communities. Especially now, we worked a lot with the interop uh, team together. First things, because we use their tools, and uh, we think it's important that we should uh, synchronize between our work and the interop teams. The second thing is also we developed by ourselves some new tools, fix several bugs in the Tempest, and this week we would like to uh, to upstream to the OpenStack communities. Um, and this is the ongoing work. And this week, we have the meeting with the interoperability team of OpenStack together. And at the end, what we hope is that once we certified a deployment of OpenStack, it's certified at the same time by the Chinese standardization national body and OpenStack Foundation. 
And um, the last very important thing is that the improbability, how to ensure this is only the first step, means that we just work on the, um, we just work on the release pike. And in the later work, we should uh, include all the releases for, because some vendors has the Pike, Rocky, or other versions. So the ongoing work is try to include all these, involve all these standards together. And did, that's all for the presentation. I don't know if you have some questions. We have to remain five minutes. Okay. <laughs>